Hi everybody, I'm Alex. And I'm Tyler. Welcome to Unit 1 of Volume 22. Uh, unit 1 is titled Amazonian Art Gallery. Now, usually when we talk about prehistoric art, we tend to focus on European paintings. The conversation revolves around cave paintings. For example, in France, they discovered a complex of cave paintings that date back 17,000 years. Revolve around. Revolve around. However, recently, a team of archaeologists led by one Ella Al-Shamahi were in Colombia when they discovered eight miles of rock paintings that put their European counterparts to shame. Put something or someone to shame. Put someone or something to shame. The sheer size of these rock paintings uh, really do give us an insight into the ancient Amazonian customs and cultures. Sheer. Sheer. The pictures depicted handprints and geometric shapes, and even some animals, uh, prehistoric animals, that have long since been extinct. So for the artist to have been able to draw these prehistoric animals with such detail means that they must have seen them in person, which puts a lot of the paintings at around 12,000 years as well. There were animals such as the mastodon, which is a distant cousin of the elephants, and horses which were extinct at that time and were later introduced by European explorers. For these animals to have been present at the time means that the Amazon was not the rainforest as we know it today. It would have been a savanna dotted with trees and much drier and cooler than today. Experts haven't given the site a name yet, but they are nicknaming it the Sistine Chapel of the Ancients. Savanna. Savanna. Do you know how long people have lived in your region for? Um, in, the, in the United States? Um, in here? Well, <laughs> in but, but, like in, you know, since, since the beginning of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, let me see. Uh, no, I don't know. I think that my hometown was probably established um, about 150 years ago. Mm -hmm. It's relatively young right. uh, compared to the rest of the United States. I see. Okay. What about you? Uh, so I'm from London, mm -hmm. and uh, we know that London was more or less founded by the Romans. Mm -hmm. There may have been settlements there before the Romans. <laughs> So in that particular region, uh, it might be correct to say that uh, it has been, it has been, an established city for two millennia. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, well, that's going to do it for the preview, and we'll see you back here for the review. Bye bye.